Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for a daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. And today's reading is going to be the weekend reading, and it's going to cover Friday, March 31st, Saturday, April 1st, and Sunday, April 2nd. And all week long, we've been using the Fairy Guidance Oracle deck by Paulina Cassidy. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And we have compassion. Take a card from the center. We have friendship. And we have beauty. Okay, so compassion. I remember this card earlier in the week. And this card was telling us, you know, by widening your circle of compassion for all of nature's creatures, your spirit will soar. Yes. This also includes people, okay? Trying to feel compassion for people by realizing that sometimes people do the wrong things towards us, but it's not intentional. Some people don't know any better. Some people were maybe raised that way. We can't expect all people to treat us the way we treat them. But if some people continue to do hurtful things, I would say you need to let them go. But if it's someone who's made an honest mistake or maybe didn't know or realize what the impact was, try to put yourself in their shoes and have some compassion this weekend for maybe some of the people out there that have done you wrong that might not have intentionally meant that. And then friendship. And we have this fairy cuddling up with this owl. And the card reads, when individuals with common bonds cross your path, friendship is discovered. And yes, I was just thinking this the other day. There's so many like-minded people that I've met through the internet, through doing my videos, uh, from being on Facebook, that I would have never had the opportunity to meet in my real world. Um, I don't have any friends that read cards in my physical surroundings. I don't really even know anybody around here that does card readings or into what I'm into. But it seems that these people are meant to cross our path. We're meant to uh, communicate with like-minded people, okay, on the spiritual path so we could share the wisdom and the experiences that we've all had up to this point and maybe help someone else who's going through something. And it's such a beautiful card and such a gentle energy. And when I think of this owl, I think of a wise old owl. And when I think of a wise old owl, I'm thinking of wisdom and the wisdom that we could share amongst each other. You know, and how they say is, you know, that you found your tribe. That is really true because some of the people that I've met, like I said, I would have never met in real life. And it seems like we're, we're just drawn together. Like the universe is placing these people in your life, people you never, you know, would expect to meet. And as they say, you know, anyone who's put on your path or crosses your path is not by accident. Everyone enters your life for a reason. And I really believe that. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful picture. And then we have the last card is beauty. Okay. And this is also a repeat card. So who out there doesn't feel that they're worthy enough? Okay, who out there needs to give themselves a dose of self-love this weekend? Because once you get yourself straight, the beauty and the light is going to shine from within outward, and you're going to attract that back into your life. People are attracted to people that are happy and upbeat and smile. Nobody looks goes looking around for somebody who's miserable. <laughs> you, you wouldn't approach somebody. If you saw someone in the grocery store that had this scowl on their face, you wouldn't walk up to them. You really wouldn't be interested in that. But the moment that you get yourself straight with the right thoughts, positive actions, your life in balance, staying grounded and focused, okay, that's going to come shining through. Okay, it's going to be beaming through you like a beacon in the night. And people recognize other people, okay, that are like that, okay? If you're a happy, positive person, you're drawn to other happy, positive people because you don't want to tolerate anything else. But this is telling you that each and every one of you has this quality within yourself. You just have to believe in yourself, okay? 
You have to allow yourself to glow from within. So do something nice for yourself this weekend. Buy yourself something, whether it's chocolates or take yourself out to dinner or buy yourself a new blouse. Do something nice for yourself because the way you feel about yourself inside is going to radiate outward and it's positive energy and you'll attract more of that into your life. And if you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.